to our summer burn challenge. Oh yes, fire us up. We've got the brand new burn app to get excited with. We've got a brand new 31 day challenge. But first of all, I want to know where are you from in the world? Pop in the comments right now where you are from and let's celebrate us getting fired up for today's workout. Oh yes, we are so much fun together. So make sure that you can hear me. Everybody is ready to go. You need some weights. You need your ankle weights if you've got them too. You also need a band and also a water bottle. All right, to make sure that we are staying nice and hydrated. So amazing, we've got people in Florida, we've got people in Canada, people in Pakistan. Amazing, we've got Colorado, the USA, everybody, people in Poland. How exciting is this? Basically, Team Burn is everywhere around the world. So if you ever need to travel anywhere, no problem, we have got you covered. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take it out through a nice warm up to make sure that we do not pull any muscles in the inner thighs, because that tends to typically really, really hurt. And if we pull anything there, and then we're gonna take it down to the ground, do some abs, and then keep working on those legs. All right, are you ready? Everybody take a quick sip of water for me to get ready. And uh, if you haven't already seen, this is our brand new guide. Let me just give you a little like sneak peek of it right here. You can see, oh my goodness, I am absolutely obsessed with our workout calendar. Oh yeah, so it's super easy to get this challenge. It is directly inside of your app. Just go to Burn by Rebecca Louise in your Google or Apple store, download the app, and you literally click challenge, and boom, the challenge is gonna be right there. It makes it even easier to do. Okay, so here we go, and if we have got any Team Burn new app members in the house, I want you to write Burn in the comments right now, and then we're gonna get started in 30 seconds. Why don't we wait for everybody to get their ankle weights, get your resistance bands, get some other weights as well. Amazing, do you like my living room? I feel like this feels like a better place to film workouts. I actually filmed a couple of workouts in this space yesterday, and it have to say, it does look so much better. Oh my goodness, here we go. We've got Jane, Ella, Lisa, Dot, Evelyn, Jessica, Carol, all of our brand new Burn members. Fire us up and let's get some energy going. All right, we're going to take it up to a nice warm up. So I'm going to pop my little, let's pop this up here. In fact, Penny, I'm going to put you in charge of looking after our calendar. All right, here we go. I know it feels very quiet in the house without Alfie, I have to say. But Penny, you're doing a good job. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to the top of your mat and we're going to take it into a nice big lunge down. We're going to bring our hands down to the mat and then we're going to lift up that top arm and then we're going to take it all the way back and then we're going to take it into a nice big step again. So we really want to stretch that inside thigh. So a nice big step, hands down to the ground and then twist up that same arm that's left lifting all the way up, hold, right here, then push down into the ground, and step it all the way back. Let's take it over to the other side. Nice big step, stretch, and then open up through the chest, lifting that arm up nice and high, inhale, and as you exhale, push down into the ground, and let it go. Let's do that one more time. On the other side, hands down to the mat, feel that beautiful stretch, now lifting all the way up to the sky, bring that hand back down, and this time we're just going to drop that back knee down, Lift up through your chest, bring your hands onto your top knee, and then sink into it, dropping those shoulders down, and then feel that stretch. So we're gonna take it into a straight leg, and take it forward, so just warming up those inside thighs. Here we go, three, breathe, two, and give me one more. Hold for here for three, two, one. Bring those hands down, shoot that leg back, take it over to the other side, bringing that right leg forward, lifting up through the chest, and here we go, hold that stretch. What's up? We've got Team Burn in the house. We've got Jessica, Megan, Monica. Amazing. All right, push down and then lift up. Now, if you're seeing a little bit of a blurry image, what you want to do is you want to hover over me. It's going to come up with that bar again. And you can change it from like 140 to like 720, something P or something, whatever it is. And it'll actually change the quality of it for you. Bring that knee nice and thrown down. Give me one more stretch. And then hold here for three and two and one. Great job, everybody. Okay, we're gonna come all the way up to standing. We're just gonna lift up nice and high. Take a nice inhale through your nose, all the way up. And take a nice big exhale, bend those knees. And then one more time, inhale through your nose. Oh, exhale everything out. All right, get those hips from side to side. Go over to the left. 
and then take it over to the right. Okay, we feel it nice and warm. We're gonna use our bands if you've got them. Now, why I love bands and why I love ankle weights is because it just increases the resistance, right? You can do all of these exercises on the app without a band on, but what I do really like it is that extra added like resistance. Why not really feel the burn? Okay, so we're gonna come to the end of one of your, the end of your mat, and we're gonna take a nice bend down, and then you're just gonna take it into nice wide squats. We're gonna push those knees out to the side. Let's get that music up just a little bit. Here we go. So really think about keeping it wide, and then taking it across, that's it. Lift that chest up nice and high, push that booty back, and then knees out to the side. Now take it one more time, all the way back. Breathe through it, that's it, just getting up nice and warm. Now come to the center of your mat. You're gonna stand up, you're gonna squeeze those glutes, you're gonna put all of the weight into the left hand side, you're gonna lift up and tap. So lift, hold, and tap. Now slow and controlled. So lift, hold, and down. That's it. It's sometimes a little bit difficult with the balance. So if you need to hold onto a sofa, if you need to hold onto a wall, no problem. Tap and down. Lifting up through the chest. That's it. Now squeeze the glute and keep on going. You got this, just keep on practicing. Sometimes our balance goes a little bit all over the place. You can put your hand on a wall and that's gonna help too. All right, here we go. Now, we're gonna make it a little bit more challenging. We're gonna take it up, little pulse, and down. That's it. So if you need to pop your hand on the wall, no problem. Tap and down. Here we go. Ooh, you can actually start to feel the outside of your booty as well on fire. So lift, little pulse, and down. You've got this. Drop the shoulders and lifting up through the chest. Here we go. Tap and down and squeeze. Okay, we're gonna take it over to the other side. So all of that weight wants to go onto the right leg and then we're gonna squeeze those glutes underneath. You're gonna lift up and down. Squeeze and down. Woo! I tell you what, we're gonna take these results to the next level. I can already feel my body transforming with all of the new workouts that we're having inside of the Burn app. And I am just so thankful for you guys. If it wasn't for you, it wouldn't be able to be this app that it is today. Because if you hadn't kept showing up and giving me support, it wouldn't have worked. Now we're gonna take it to that little pulse, up and down. Pop your hand on the wall if you're working with that balance, up and down. That's it, you got it. Keep on going, keep practicing. Squeeze and down. Woo, that outside leg is on fire. Let's go, in three, in two, in one, and release. Okay, you can take that band off, kick it up in the sky, and try and catch it. <laughs> and this time we are gonna put on those ankle weights. So quick 30 second rest while we grab those ankle weights on. This is I think probably half of the challenge sometimes, is grabbing these ankle weights and putting these on. Or you can hold on to some weight, or you can do double. You can hold on to weight, you can oh, add on those ankle weights, take a quick sip of water, and we're gonna increase it. That was our nice little warm up. Okay, everyone's like, warm up. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna lean all of that weight into that front leg. We're gonna squeeze that glute. We're gonna bring one of the weights onto the outside. We're gonna turn that leg out. So think about, if you wanna kind of think about how do you turn it out, you're gonna bring your toe right here, then you're just gonna lift out to the back, okay? So really targeting that inside thigh. Here we go, up and down. Now try to not tap the weight onto the ground. You're just gonna lift up, hold, slow, and control, that's it. So lift up through the chest, hold, and down. Keep breathing through it. Woo! Starting to feel like some sweat, like dripping down. My chest, my back, here we go. Lifting up and down. Now we're gonna add a little pulse. So lift that pulse up and down. You're gonna start to feel the inside thigh on that standing leg about to get on fire. If you've got ankle weights and weights, you probably felt it about two reps ago. If you haven't, you're probably gonna feel it in about five. All right, here we go. Push down into that supporting leg. Try and stand up just a little bit taller. Squeeze those glutes. And here we go, you've got this. Now, next one, you're gonna hold it up at the top. You're gonna pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release down. Oh my goodness, that is a tough one. That is very, very hard. Okay, we're gonna go over to the other side. We're gonna put all of that weight this time onto your left leg. You're gonna turn out your right leg, a little bit of weight and resistance on the top thigh here, in that crease between your hip, and up and down we go. So knee out to the side and tap. Up and down, that's it. 
Core is engaged, nice and tight, and just really extend that leg out to the side. Breathe. Whew. Yes. Come on, you got this now. If your balance is going off, you can always hold onto a wall, or what you can do is you can stare at an object that is not moving and just put all of your focus onto it. All right, here we go. So lift up and down. Up and down. Squeeze that core nice and tight. Now, here we go. You're going to go up, add that pulse, and down. Push all of that weight onto that supporting leg. Keep your focus nice and tight. You should start to feel the burn right about now. Okay, here we go. I'm feeling it. Let's go. Lift that leg up just a little bit higher. Breathe through it. Come on. A few more pulses, and then we're going to take it up for that 10. Give me one more. Now, hold it up. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Oh my goodness me, shake it out, shake it out. I'm gonna give you 20 seconds. Put another 10 in the chat if you felt that. I told you that I was gonna be up in the workout. So wait till you see some of these workouts that are coming. It is gonna up the game. Now I'm like, okay, now we have an act called burn by Rebecca Louise. We're gonna increase the burn. Okay, here we go. All right, everybody is feeling it, amazing. What we're gonna do for a last little exercise is standing right here. We're gonna take it into some plie squats. So you're gonna bring both of the weights that you have right here. You're gonna tuck your hips underneath. So normally when we do a squat, we kind of think about the butt going backwards. This time we're gonna think about going straight down, okay? So we're gonna get a little bit wider than we typically would. Now point those toes almost like they're going straight out for 180 degree, and you're gonna tuck the hips underneath. You're gonna go straight down, and then squeeze those glutes together. So drop the shoulder, lifting up through the chest, and here we go. Push down, and then squeeze, that's it all the way down, now push into those heels, and then tuck those hips underneath, that's it. Really thinking about using your thighs, so use your thighs, that's it, hold them nice and tight, and squeeze. Here we go, so push those knees out to the side, tuck in the hips underneath, and slow and control all the way up. Here we go, take it down, even lower, even lower, hold. Now use the thighs, squeeze those thighs, and that is what's gonna bring you up. See how slow that we're going right now? We're really using those inner thighs. So going out to the side. Now squeeze those thighs together as you come up nice and slow. Great job, let's do three more right here. Get a little bit lower for me. Now hold right here, we're gonna do a couple of pulses. Hold at the bottom and pulse for three, two, one. Now squeeze those thighs all the way up to standing. Ooh, you should be trembling. We're gonna take it down two more times, all the way down. Now hold the bottom and pulse for three, two, one. One, squeeze those thighs. Come on, use the thighs to bring you all the way back up and tuck those hips underneath. You're gonna give me one more. We're gonna pulse at the bottom for 10. So come nice and low, get even lower, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Squeeze those thighs, nice and tight for four, three, two, one. Squeeze the thighs and all the way up to the top. Woo, nice work, everybody. Take a sip of water, so grab your water bottle. Grab your water bottle, everybody. Take a sip of water. Oh, take a breath, oh my goodness. Who can feel that in the thighs? I love that, going nice and slow and controlled. We're gonna drop down to the ground, do a couple more thigh exercises. Now, if you guys got any questions about the new Burn app, or you just have any comments, or you wanna say how much you love it, because the feedback has been incredible, then just pop it in the comments, and as I'm lying down, I'll be able to read any questions that you have. Okay, so we're gonna lie down onto our side. We're gonna bring our elbow, you guys know the drill, underneath. So lying on your side with your hips on top of each other and your legs out to the side. We're gonna keep those ankle weights on. I tell you what, who's got our ankle weights? Because when you've got ankle weights on and you do a full workout, you can't even do a workout without them anymore because you've gone through the 30 minutes, you've gone through the 10 minutes, you may as well just put a pair of ankle weights on and you kind of forget that they're there. I say forget, but it's like, it's not everything that you forget. Okay, here we go. We are gonna make sure that this is muted, and let's get our next track on. Are you ready, everybody? Everybody come down to the ground. You've had a quick sip of water, and here we go. In three, two, one. Ella says the ankle weights are a killer. Yes, Susan loves them as well. Whew, yeah, they're my favorite. We do have some new colors coming, as you can probably tell by this set right now. This is our new pastel collection. It is coming soon. All right, here we go. So we're just gonna take it up and down, slow, and control. Now squeeze the inner thigh. As you lift up, we're gonna do a little circle at the top and then coming all the way down. 
So lift up, a little circle at the top, and then come down. That's it, nice work. And up, circle, and down. That's it, here we go. Now we're gonna change it up in three, two, one. Listen to the chain. You're gonna bring your leg up here, you're gonna take it down, and then you're gonna open up and squeeze those glutes. Close and open, that's it, here we go. Close and open, whoo! That booty's on fire too, the inner thighs are on fire. Let's keep this pace going. That's it, now up, now give me some pulses at the top. Now you can start to feel those inner thighs. Here we go, you've got this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and extend out. We're going to go up and down again. That's it, here we go. So good everybody, for the last 3, 2, and 1. Alright, we're going to take it over to the other side. Alright, here we go, over to the other side. So. Pop that weight onto your top hip, and then we're gonna take it into some abs next. All right, so up and down. Really think about those hips being on top of each other, and squeeze the inner thigh. If you're kind of relaxed, you're not gonna get that same tension. So you wanna think about how can I really squeeze and lift up, that's it. Cool, breathe through it. Oh, so good, doesn't it feel great to get a burn? Doesn't it feel great to show up every day and get your body moving? I tell you what, once you just make it, part of your habit, when you're like, I just show up, and I really feel that it's actually in the times where you don't want to show up, that's the most important to show up. So when you're not feeling 100%, maybe you're feeling a little bit tired, maybe you're feeling a little bit rough, I promise you, like, they're the times that need to show up more, because when you're showing up for your workouts, when you're showing up, and you're giving to other people, that's where you start to feel better. Have you ever felt better by just kind of worrying into your own like dismissal of stuff no you feel so much better you have more energy you're more positive when you keep showing up all right here we go we're going to take it into pulses little circles at the top so down whoo, little circle down little circle i did a little bit extra on this side so you're going to get an extra burn on that right leg all right here we go little circle at the top take it down and let's give me three you got this for two and one more Okay, we're gonna bend that knee this time. We're gonna open and bring that knee down, tap the mat, and then bring it all the way back up again. So here we go. Tap that mat and squeeze. Ooh, make sure that you're breathing. Tap and down. Squeeze the inner thigh. The inner thigh is what's bringing your knee all the way back up. Let's go for three. Slow and control. Two and one. Now hold at the top. Hold. Little pulses. Let's go. Five. Four, three, two, one, and release. Woo, okay, pop that weight over to the side. Lisa says, I love the new app, so amazing. Uh, <laughs> incredible, yes, you got the tick mark. That's amazing, so every single day that you do a workout, you're gonna get your tick mark in your calendar. Absolutely, amazing, yes. Definitely get some ankle weights, they are a game changer. All right, we're gonna take into some abs, but everybody take a quick sip of water first. So everybody make sure that you've got your water bottles. Oh, take a sip of water. Okay, and I'm gonna be really cautious with making sure that through the workout videos, I tell you when to take a sip of water because I am really bad at drinking my water through the day and we need to drink water, especially when you work out. And I can go through a whole workout and not drink any water, but you know what? There's always areas where we can get better at. So we're gonna take in some ab exercises right now. So let's just warm up the core a little bit first of all. I am gonna keep those ankle weights on and I encourage you guys to do the same. So we're gonna come all the way down onto our backs. Penny, how are we doing? Penny, are we doing a good job? Oh, let me go, she says, oh, no, she's, she's like, oh, I just wanna roll over and sleep. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring those knees in right here. You can lift up your arms. We're thinking about engaging that core, and I love this exercise to warm up your abs. We're going to bring it in here, and then we're actually going to take it out onto a diagonal, and then come back. Now this is going to work a little bit harder if you've got ankle weights on, because as you take it out onto that diagonal, right here, what's going to happen is it's going to throw off your balance. You're just going to do one leg at a time. You're going to extend nice and long, and then you're going to just take it out to the diagonal. Hold and then bring it back in again. Let's do one more on that left leg or whichever leg that you are on. And then let's take it out nice and wide. Hold that core, you're gonna to have to work hard because the balance is gonna push you off. Now let's take it over to the other leg, whichever one you have not done. Let's switch over. So in the in nice and long, and then taking it out to the side, and then bring it back. Here we go. 
All right, extend that leg. Now take it out onto that diagonal. Bring, and then back in again. Okay, two more on this side, nice and long. Try and get that leg just a little bit lower towards the ground, and then bring it back. Now one more, all the way through, and bring that core back in, extend it nice and long. Okay, bring those knees right here. We're gonna take it and tap down. So you're gonna keep those knees at 90 degrees. I'm gonna push your hands into your knees and then tap down. That's it, so pull that core nice and tight. So as one leg goes down, you're gonna push in with the other one. So take off one hand, tap and core, nice and tight. Here we go, so tap it down and then bring it back. Squeeze, woo, yes, you got this. Here we go, so really think about the other knee is pushing hard into that hand. The hand is pushing hard in and then you tap that foot down and bring it all the way back through. Slow and control. Now this time, try and bring that leg a little bit further away. Woo, see all the difference as you extend that leg further away. And then don't bring that knee so close towards you. So you're gonna now bring that knee further away and that leg even further too. So it's a nice, full, long extension. Feel the difference in those lower abs. Woo, it's on fire, here we go. You've got six more right here, that's it. Now when you push that hand into the knee, extend it nice and long. Woo, four to go. Breathe through it. Yes, you've got this. Four. Breathe. Three. Yes. And two. Give me one more. All the way through. And gently release. Woo! Shake out your legs. Shake out your legs. We're going to take it into a full sit-up. So lie all the way down. Bring your arms over the top of your head. Tuck your hips underneath. And you're going to take it into a full sit-up for me. You're going to sit all the way up. And then raise your hands all the way up to the top. Give some jazz hands. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So drop those shoulders down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. All the way down. That's it. You're going to hold at the bottom. And then you're going to bring yourself all the way back up again. That's it. You need to bring your arms over the top of your head. Help with a little bit of that momentum. So all the way down. Slow and controlled. Now, the next time that you do it, what we're going to do is we're going to bring it all the way up. And you're going to lift up one leg. Ooh, make that a little bit more challenging. If you can, if you don't want to, no problem. So you're going to come all the way down. As soon as those shoulders tap, you're going to come up and then you're going to lift up that other leg and hold. That's it. Squeeze that core nice and tight. We're going to do two more like this and then we're going to add on to it. So inhale, exhale, lifting up through your chest. That's it. Flex that foot as you get to the top. Slowly down, all the way. Breathe. Now come all the way up. Hold and extend that leg. Now this time, you're going to come down to halfway. So halfway is right here. You're going to come all the way up and then you're going to lift up your leg. That's it. So halfway. Here we go. Come on. You got this. Don't quit. Just see if you can just do a couple more. I know that the abs are on fire right now. That's it. Cool. So just where the top of your back hits. Lifting all the way up and then extending one leg at a time. Let's give me four more right here. As soon as it taps, you're going to lift all the way up and extend nice and long. Whoo, drop those shoulders down. Here we go. You've got three. Don't quit. Keep on going. Even if you feel like it's really challenging, just keep on pushing yourself. Here we go. We've got number two. Now you can give me one more. I know it. I know it. All the way down. Tap. And lifting all the way up. Ooh, all right. Nice work, everybody. You can take a quick water break right here. Ooh, all right. So we have got this, everybody. Looking so good. Looking so good. Give me a number five in the chat if you can feel those abs on fire. Take a quick sip of water, everybody. How are we feeling? How is everybody feeling? Uh, Jane said I did you on the... Uh, Ooh, on the stop this morning, ATM, my legs are dying. Fantastic. First live in a while. I was honestly going to skip and get back to sleep. But I'm so glad I showed up. Ella, we are so glad that you showed up too. Pop a number five in the chat. Abs are on fire. Yes, this is a great ab exercise. Okay, here we go. We are going to come right onto our front. And the last couple of ab exercises, then I'm going to take you through a quick two minute cool down because it is so important to cool down. So what we're going to do right here is you're going to bring your hands to the top of the mat. You're going to come up onto a high plank like this. Okay, so core is engaged nice and tight. So just hold right here and give me a big smile. That's a big smile because you showed up. Sometimes you don't want to show up, but you always feel so much better. So cheese. All right, here we go. So spread those fingertips nice and wide. We're going to bring the knee in towards the chest. Then we're going to take it to the opposite knee. And then we're going to take it to the outside knee. Then we're going to switch over to the other side. So knee in towards the chest. We're going to take the knee across. And then we're going to take it to the outside. Good 
job. All right, here we go. So bring the knee in. Take it across your body. All right, here we go. We're going to take it one more time over to the other side. And then we're going to change it up. That's it. Take it across the body. Woo, let's go. Now, we're going to bring that right knee in. We're going to take it across. So you're going to tap and tap. Here we go. Tap and tap. Take it across. Woo, breathe through it. You got this. Come on, let's go in. Five and four and three and two and one. All right, take it over to the other side. You've just got ten. Come on, push yourself. Breathe. And five, four, three, two, one, and release. Woo! Oh my goodness, shake it out, shake it out. Give yourself a pat on the back for that one. That is a great exercise. All right, here we go. All right, breathe through it, everybody. We're gonna keep on working nice and tight. All right, yes, Kim, that one absolutely burns. Do you think you guys can do one more set? This is our very last exercise. Take a quick sip of water to give us lots of energy for that final set. Whew, we can do it. We can do it. Put another one in the chat. Be like, I'm gonna do it. I don't even know how I'm gonna feel at the end, but I'm gonna do one more set of those. Okay. Let's get that energy up. Woo. Come on. Clap it out, clap it out, clap it out. Prepare yourself. Be like, yes, I got this. I got this. Here we go. That's it. I love it. Everyone's like, I'm gonna do this one more time. So hand at the top of your mat. Let's come up into that high plank. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Hold that core. And let's go. Bring that right knee in. Take it across the body. And bring it out to the outside. Over to the left leg. So bring the knee in towards your chest. You take it across. Get that elbow to knee connection. And out to the side. Here we go. Two more times on either side. Take it across. And extend. And breathe. Come on. Left. Take it across. And take it out nice and wide. One more time on either side. And then we're going to take it across from leg to one to one. Here we go. We're going to do that in just a second. Now take it one more time to that left side. Bring the knee in towards the chest. Take it across the body. And take it onto that outside elbow. Now bring that right knee in. We're going to take it across. Come on. You've got this. Nice and strong for five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Over to the last side. Come on. Here we go. Do not quit for five. Four. Three, two, one, and release. Woo! Oh my goodness, we did it, we did it. Guys, what I'd love for you guys to do is take a quick screenshot before we close out today and take a quick picture of yourself doing this workout and tag me at Rebecca Williams Fitness on Instagram or wherever you guys are at so that I can see where you are and who did our workout this morning. All right, let's take it into a nice little stretch. Woo you can take off your ankle weights if you've got your ankle weights on. Give yourself a pat on the back, because you guys did so good, and you showed up, even when you don't see, you just gonna feel so much better. If you were kind of feeling like a little bit, oh, this morning, and then you came here, I'm pretty sure that you'd feel better. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Amazing. Great. Here we go. That was a burn, says Sarah. All right, here we go. You're gonna squeeze that core nice and tight, and we're gonna bring those elbows in towards our waist, and we're gonna push all the way up. So Monica says, why can't we not change our weight or age like in the BTS app? It's just not a feature right now that uh, we wanted to keep it nice and simple so it was super easy to use and then add on more features, you know, as we kind of discuss with you girls what you prefer. Because there might be some features that weren't inside of the BTS app. Push down into the ground, bring your knees out to the edge of your mat and take into a child's pose for me. And just bring those elbows down to the ground and lifting up through the chest. So it could be that there's actually um, a, a feature that we didn't even have in the BTS app that some of you girls are like, that would be amazing. So what we're going to do is now we've got a really good working app, we can add features to it. It was really challenging to do that on the BTS one because everything kept breaking. Okay, come down, take a sit right here. We're going to do the stretch. Most importantly is to get stretched. So lifting up through your chest, hold onto your foot right here and just feel that stretch. Yes, so that's the great thing about the new app is that we are with an amazing team. They have built some of the top fitness apps in the world. So just get ready for more amazing features, for more things that are gonna help you. Um, I'm gonna add in some more meditations, add in some, some more mindset stuff so that we can start every morning. Let's take it over to the other side. So bring your foot onto the top of your toe and hold right here. And guys, if you could do me a favor and just hit that like button as well and subscribe. If you're not
not already subscribed to this channel, I cannot emphasize enough how, like, how much it helps us as creators. It's completely free to subscribe to a YouTube channel. So if you can just hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, I know that we can get over 100 likes on this video today. And last little stretch for our inner thighs, bring those feet together, and then lifting up through the chest. And that's it, here we go. So lifting up through the chest, we're gonna take it into a little frog. All right, here we go. Whew. All right, that's it, amazing Susan. So yes, I'm so excited and I, I'm so grateful that you guys love the new burnout as much as me. And like I said at the beginning of this video, if it wasn't for you keep showing up, this app would have never happened. Because I would have never been able to be in this position to be like, hey, this amazing app company, can you take me on? Can you take our community on? Can you deliver an amazing product? Because they deserve it. And if it wasn't for you being a member of the BTS app or being a member of the Burn app when it was originally Burn, this would have never have happened. So I want to say thank you because you are literally allowing me to live out my dream of having a fitness app that really works. <laughs> Like, it feels amazing to have. Bring those knees together. Let's come in all the way up to standing. I hope you guys had a really good workout with me today. We're gonna to take a nice big inhale. Oh, inhale through your nose. Oh, exhale everything out. Well, make sure that you check out your guide because there are brand new lives throughout the month. Uh, you will get your guide as soon as that you sign up for the Burn app. You can just head over to your Google or your iOS store and you can download the app and inside you're gonna have the whole workout calendar. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Hope everybody in America has a happy 4th of July. Uh, Penny is ready and ready to go. We've got a little outfit for you. And I just wanna say thank you again and thanks for joining me on this live. What fun. Whew. All right, guys, make sure that you check out the live calendar and I'll see you on our next workout. I love you guys.